Hello there, and welcome to the Texas State Geography Department virtual tour. My name is Alex Owens, and I am the Relations Director for Gamma Zeta Upsilon, the Geography Honors Organization here on campus. In this video, we will be touring a lot of ge uh, Geography Department frequents where many students often spend a lot of their time. If you look this way, we have the main mall, where student organizations line up under these beautiful trees to host fundraising and promotional events. Right here we have the Evans Liberal Arts Building. This is where the Anthropology Department on the second floor and our Geography Departments on the first and third floors uh, conduct their classes. Come on in. We've just now entered the ground floor. This space outside of the auditorium is the Exhibition Hall where we host our GIS Day. Local companies and divisions, as well as some national agencies, have been active sponsors and participants, each bringing in career information and opportunities to, to our students. Classroom 116 is a big amphitheater that can hold up to 122 students. General education classes, such as World Geography, Meteorology, Intro to Environmental Geography, and Political Geography are held here. We also host departmental colloquiums here. Welcome to room 155. This is the Physical Geography Lab, where the labs for classes like Intro to Physical Geography and Field Methods take place. Students usually sit in groups to work together to learn how to use tools and instruments required for lab before heading out to do field work. The Geography Department houses over a hundred computer workstations in teaching and research labs in the building. These systems are used primarily for geography majors and geology minors when taking various technological and research-based courses. Each workstation is supplied with the latest hardware and software configurations, including, but not limited to, GIS, remote sensing, cartography, and statistical software. Here at Texas State, we have two geology labs for our geology minors, each containing rock samples on the display tables, which provide hand-on experiences for students in classes such as earth materials and physical geology. This is my favorite part of the geography department. Right here, we've got our nice fancy sandbox where we learn a lot about different watersheds or making different sort of drainage patterns in classes like water resources or can even learn about how different landscapes operate uh, in physical geology. This room is the Grosvenor Center conference room, fully equipped with media devices. Under the leadership of Drs. Baim, Solem, Muniz, Solari, and Joe, the National Center for Research and Geographic Education and the Gilbert Grosvenor Center has secured various fundings from the National Science Foundation and the National Geographic Society. They have been actively developing and implementing innovative programs and events in geographic education. Room 139 is the administrative office of our department. Our department chair Dr. Liu, office manager Angelica, and student workers keep this place quite busy every day. This main office has an open door policy that welcomes students and faculty to have communications with one another. This is also a cultural place. Like now, we are celebrating the Chinese New Year with these festive decorations. This department would not be running as well as it is now without our staff members, including our undergraduate and graduate program coordinators, a budget travel assistant, and two computer lab coordinators. Their offices are distributed across this part of the U-shaped corridor. This poster features a sample of business cards collected from our proud alumni. This directory also provides a visual inspiration to geography majors and other students about what kind of career paths there are, as well as what effective networking tools to use. Here we are at the third floor. If you look over here to my right, you've got the conference rooms and faculty offices where a lot of students will go for tutoring, office hours, stuff like that. And down here, you've got a bunch of educational posters and classrooms where a lot of geography students spend most of their time. Every spring, the Texas State Geography Student Research Symposium, also known as the GSRS, is hosted in this very hallway. It is a student-led one-day conference in which regional geography students from Blinn College, Texas A&M University, ACC, and even LSU have joined to present high-quality research to peers and professors alike. Room 311 is one of four of our larger lecture classrooms used for teaching introductory and advanced geography courses. Classrooms 311, 312, 315, and 316 can host classes up to 60 students. The current courses taught in these rooms include Intro to Physical Geography, Geomorphology, Advanced GIS, Advanced Topics in Remote Sensing, 
maps and map making, and many others. Room 384 is a graduate teaching room for seminar courses and presentations and is also equipped with a smart board. Room 344 is a multifunctional conference room where department meetings, thesis or dissertation defenses, and many student organizational meetings and workshops take place. This student lounge area, situated in a very accessible location on the third floor, provides a space for students to mingle and relax. The idea of having a lounge room originated from our own students, who also formed a committee to help with the design of the room. And this is one of three geospatial computer labs designed mainly for higher level GIS and remote sensing courses. Room 327 houses 10 high-end performance desktop specialized software for graduate research. At times other than designated lab hours, graduate students are often spent thousands, maybe hundreds of hours working on thesis or dissertations. And sometimes you can even catch them sleeping. Like, Shh, don't wake them. Room 367 is a lab space for geomorphological and biogeographical research activities and is shared among Drs. Meitzen, Julian, Lee, and Krauss. The lab offers equipment for studying tree ring analysis, geomorphic processes, grain size analysis of soils, and devices used by the water resource faculty and students. Here at the library, the university provides GIS services headed by our alumni and lecturer Dr. Dede Bamful. They provide university-wide GIS short courses, special topic workshops, and GIS science consulting to various research and student projects. The Freeman Center is a research facility that aims to protect local ecosystems and enable research and educational activities. Besides teaching and conducting field research, the geography department often hosts the alumni reunion and student celebration to celebrate the spirit of geography. Thanks to our alumni, corporate sponsors, and other friends of the department, as well as our own faculty and staff, we distribute tens of thousands of dollars in scholarships to our undergraduate and graduate students each year. Sewell Park is located right in the heart of San Marcos, right next to the Texas State Campus. This is where our department hosts our fall annual welcome back picnic that is open to all students as well as their friends or family. This is also a key location where our students can access the beautiful San Marcos River to learn, conserve, and have fun. This is the end of the Texas State Geography Department virtual tour. Thank you so much for dropping by and we look forward to meeting you in person.